Hi, my name is Thomas Lang. I spent most of my drumming career practicing with extreme passion, focus, and with more or less discipline. Still, I always felt that there was much to be improved about my playing and therefore about my practicing, especially working on high-end drumming concepts that incorporate a lot of non-linear hand-foot coordination was always a bit of a puzzle. Where to start? Which one combination of the millions of combinations of hand and foot patterns is more important than another? Which one can I use in my playing immediately and more frequently? Which one pattern is more applicable to the style of drumming I want to specialize in? How do I organize the huge chaotic amount of millions of possible combinations of patterns and stickings, time signatures, layers of rhythms, orchestrations, it all seemed like such a chaos and such a massive mess that I got frustrated with my inefficient and clumsy approach. I needed to find a simple and efficient way to organize all the stuff I wanted to work on. I needed to organize all the stuff on paper, but more importantly, I needed to find a way to organize my mind so I would always maintain a clear vision and idea of what I was practicing and why I was practicing it. I like to have a life besides music and drumming, and I like things streamlined and simple. I like to do things in a timely manner, and I like it when things are organized, approachable, comprehensive, efficient, and clear. Simplicity is beauty. And my practice plan was always pretty well organized, but my approach to practicing high-end or coordination in addition to all the other things I wanted to study and improve was chaotic. I just experimented with the odd pattern or ostinato and fiddled with random ideas on top of that, tried random combinations and struggled to work myself to a point where I could improvise freely and musically over one specific foot pattern or phrase with my hands. That was pathetic. I only got more frustrated with myself and with my drumming. So why the heck was I practicing the silly phrase? Just because I saw someone else do it? It's their phrase, they've done it, played it, improvised over it, they've said it first, and I was never a fan of badly imitating someone else. So I wanted to make my own statements and I wanted to say it my way. I'm interested in creative ideas more than anything. I get a kick out of creating something new, something that wasn't there before. Hearing something for the first time gives me a kick. Whether you can use it on that particular pop song or that rock track is besides the point. It's not about that. It's about looking into the future, creating something fresh and new. However, in order to do so, you have to play it first. And to do that in contemporary drumming, you really have to go way out there, technically and in terms of coordination. This takes years and years of highly disciplined practice and thousands of hours of focused input. It's a lifetime of passion and hard work that leads to that kind of skill. And it's a lonely and often frustrating experience. It's tedious and exhausting. It's also often redundant and irrational, musically unnecessary and besides the point. Attempting greatness in any area of expertise can become a bit of a farce sometimes if the effort is not put into perspective. That's what I felt like. Why am I doing this anyways? What is there to gain? Are the drums really that important to me that I'm spending all this time working on these abstract concepts that I'm losing perspective? Do I want to spend this much time on this? Do I? The answer, of course, is no, I don't. Do I want to get better? Do I want to be able to play everything, anything that pops into my twisted muso mind? The answer, of course, is yes. Why not? So I sat down and came up with something that really works for me. I took some inspiration from another field of chaos, mathematics, and it was a huge break breakthrough for me when I started designing a simple coordination problem matrix, my formula. Now I was able to organize my mind. I, was, I always knew what to practice and how to practice it, 
and more importantly, I was able to apply everything immediately in a musical context. And as a little favor to myself, I created a matrix or formula that also saves me a lot of time. In fact, 12.5% of my coordination practice time. Every 256 exercises, I skip or cancel out 32 exercises because I've already practiced them in a different incarnation, which in, or, in other words is every eighth exercise. Now, I think that's pretty cool. That means that instead of practicing eight exercises, I only have to do seven. That's a 12.5% discount. So every eight exercises, you'll encounter one variation that you've already practiced with the previous set of eight exercises. It appears in a different time signature, but the layer you play on top is the signature you already practiced. So it's like a deja vu. It's a pleasant little surprise, and I always found it very motivating during my practice to encounter these deja vus. The reason for that is the way the matrix works. You'll understand once you get to the first deja vu. Check out the PDF files for the complete breakdown and the full explanation of this formula. You play the way you practice. This DVD is about exploring new contemporary playing and practice concepts. All the exercises in this DVD are meant to inspire you to open your mind to a modern playing approach and style. It's meant to make you want to try new things and new ways. This DVD is packed full of challenging exercises. Don't try to play them all at once and don't expect to be able to play all the exercises immediately. Take your time with this. Watch this DVD one chapter at a time and slowly work your way through the whole DVD. And don't get put off by any of these challenges. You can do whatever you want if you want it. If some of the concepts here are too advanced for you, then just take the bits of information that you can digest comfortably and simplify the concepts to fit your needs and your skill. I don't think you have to actually play everything I play. If it gets too complicated for you, just step back, enjoy the ride, but most probably you'll find something you can try and use even in the most complex of exercises if you keep an open mind. All these exercises are combination exercises. They incorporate much more than just coordination and independence features. I practice timing, endurance, dynamics with all four limbs, hand and foot technique, coordination, independence, interdependence, accuracy and precision of execution all at the same time. In doing so, I also learned to count and play different meters and time signatures all at once. It's a great combination of physical and intellectual components in my workout and it ultimately makes my playing more controlled and more creative and more musical. It helps my groove playing, it helps my timing, it makes my playing easier for me and it allows me to be more creative and more cutting edge in my performances. Now welcome, roll up your sleeves and take a look at where we're headed. Mm -hmm.